Welcome back. And yes, we do have Olami Lekon Moshuda Gbeleshe, popularly known as Lekon. Now, he is a Nigerian media personality, rapper, singer, and songwriter. Tell us more, Mary. Yes, he is the winner of uh, Big Brother Ninja Season 5 and currently the Youth Ambassador of Ogun State. Great to have you in the studio with us. Uh, thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. So you're, let's say Lacon Nation. What's your fans? What do you call yes, them? My fans. Icons. <laughs> icons. Yeah, First Nation like is Lacon, the label Lacon I'm Lacon signed Nation. on to. Okay. Oh, icons. Well, icons are They've your been fans. Yeah, they're, they're, they're my family. You. My fans. Icons. So how has how's your journey in music been so far? It's been interesting. Uh, obviously, I'm always looking forward to uh, the next the next big thing that I can actually do. So... It's been work for me okay. all through and um, putting out new projects soon. Mm -hmm. So for me, music has been fun. Mm -hmm. Lately, it's been interesting. It's been... Uh, actually, I'm just enjoying it. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, you know, you, you had been in the industry for about... Um, professionally for about three years before you went into the Big Brother house. Four. Four. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, Let's 20, say professionally, yes. self. I put out my first ever song mm -hmm. in 2012. Wow. wow, that's like yeah, that was when I started. Now. That was that was when I started recording, recording. Oh, well, okay. let's say, yeah, if we're going to look at it that way, because yes, uh, let's say 2016, that was when I put out my first EP, Young Black and Gifted. Okay, yeah, okay. So, before BB Niger, what was it like for you as an artist? What was the struggle really like, and mm -hmm. how has it been since BB Niger? I feel the, the difference is now I've got like a larger audience and okay. there's a whole lot of expectations now. Yeah. But there have always been expectations because I feel like there's a standard you have to know that you, you need as, a, as an artist. Regardless of whether you're up or you're mm. not there yet, mm. there's a standard that you really have to maintain. And that's always making sure that your process, the process of, making, of creating the music mm -hmm. has, has a whole lot of uh, things that will make sure the music is a quality music when you're done with it. Yeah. So I think it's still the same process for me now. I still feel like I put in a lot of effort into the process of the music to make sure that it's quality music that you put out. Yeah. So it's just now there's a bigger audience, yeah. there's a bigger uh, there's a bigger expectation from mm -hmm. a whole lot of people and you also have to factor that in. It's actually different than before I went into the house. Yeah, now having a bigger audience and a bigger fan base, now what's the pressure like? Because you know there's this thing of before you before you get seen, mm -hmm. there's the raw, there's the, I would say authenticity, but there's the raw, undiluted talent and beauty of work. But then, you see, when the um, fame comes, most people say, oh, we, you don't sound as, as raw, as, as raw, beautiful, as good as, as, you, good as used you used to. So now what's the pressure like? for you to sound as as raw as you used to before the fame came that's why that's why i said before this moment mm -hmm. it's always been the process that i put a whole lot of energy into and it's still the process that i'll still put a whole lot of energy into right now so i don't think there's any pressure really it's just now you know that there's a whole lot of uh, demography that you have to appeal to so it just takes you trying to be as as versatile as you can and i've always been versatile so i mean it's not it's no pressure for me yeah it's just me enjoying myself enjoying the process, the process. and going through it and well, making that's sure actually that for your creative process mm -hmm. yeah well, when we talk about even the open doors yeah um, just some weeks back you finally met don jazzy and i know mm -hmm. it was a really really exciting moment for you yeah uh, so these doors have actually started being open mm -hmm. after um, after Big the, Brother, after yeah, Big definitely, Brother. yes. Okay. I mean, yeah, you get to you get to like uh, have conversations with people you actually didn't think you were going to have conversations with yeah. that close. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always been the kind of person that I know the kind of level that I want to get to as an artist. Mm -hmm. And in my head, somewhere in my head, I know that everything that I'm experiencing now, I would experience it at a point. So mm -hmm. I was never really all about oh i have to experience it i must ex i know mm -hmm. i knew i was going to going experience to, it yeah. i just didn't know when yeah. Yeah, i knew i was true. going to pop i just didn't know when yeah. so i felt it was going to be a, a process that i would have to go through bit mm -hmm. by bit but now i'm actually just experiencing it and that just tells me that okay the bigger picture isn't even fully achieved yet, yet, so there's still more work to be done. And yeah. you know, still talking about exposure, yeah. uh, you have your music now being seen and listened to all over the world. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we, we get reviews from even foreign, foreign countries, from the UK, from the US, people mm -hmm. say, you know, they love your EP. Yeah. How does that make you feel and what has it done to your career? I, didn't, I mean, it makes me, first of it gives me reassurance that I'm actually doing something good. Mm -hmm. And it also lets me know that, okay, now that 
there are people that you are not even, my mind wasn't even there. Like, your mind is there on the long term, but at that moment, yeah, 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 my mind wasn't even there while I was creating the music. But now it's still the same thing. It just lets me know that, dude, there's, there's like, bigger people looking at you now. There's, like, different people looking at you now. So you need to, like, just keep making sure that it's 100% every time you do it. Or if you can get 200% from anywhere else, try and add it up to whatever it is you have and try and do better than you're doing already. Mm. So everything is basically a motivation for me, mm. even criticism. Mm. Okay. Now, I'm still on your music, um, with you being very commercial now and having a large audience, do you feel the pressure to move from where you are at your genre to trying or exploring other types of sound? I mean, if you listen, if you listen to YBAG in 2016, there's elements of different type of sounds in it. Yeah. Then there was... There were two EPs that I was really intentional about them and I knew I was just going to rap and not do anything else other than rap. But still, there was still a bit of different elements in it and that's the <laughs> I'm talking about yeah, your reality yeah. show oh, on uh, Show Max. Yes. How did you come about that? Was, was it um, more like um, an offshoot of Bibi Nigeria? Was something that you've always had in mind to do? Like I said, it's yeah. something you think about it, yeah, mm -hmm. that... I will do this thing at a point in my life. Yeah. But you, you never think, oh, tomorrow it's going to happen. happen yeah. yeah, so it's, it's still the same thing for me. I've always thought, yeah, having a reality show for myself wouldn't be bad. I mean, I don't know if people will find me interesting, but I could do it at mm -hmm. a point. Uh, so when it, it started happening, I felt like, nah, this is good for me. This is good for my music. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, just, it's just exciting that I'm actually here at this point, And I'm happy that, I'm experiencing this and I'm using it to push the bigger picture, which okay. is for me to use my music to change people's lives. So now let's talk about, sorry, I want no, to... No, sure, sure. You yeah, have very, very proper music life. Let's talk about your personal life. Okay. Now you outside the music space. Now, no, the music is, is me. So the music is personal too. <laughs> okay, fine. The music is personal, but still as um, away from the music, you as a person, um, would you, are you in a relationship now? No, I'm not. So you no. don't have anybody you're going to give Valentine. That's love. the thing. That's 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 don't the misconception. That's the misconception. No, that's the misconception about Valentine. <laughs> that's that's the misconception about Valentine. Yeah, it's it's you sharing with somebody you care about, somebody. So you, you love. care about all of us. That's what you're I mean, no, I'm not giving everybody a gift. Okay. Obviously, I mean there are special people that are going to give. I've been going on campaigning for gifts. <laughs> 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 I've been, I've been that's why I looked at that. We are going to give gifts to you. Don't yeah. necessarily need to give to the other half. Uh, like. If somebody you're in a relationship yeah. with, you can give your friend, you can give your, your, your mom or your dad yeah. or your brothers or, I don't know, just go out there, look for people who need love in their lives, uh, people who are not as privileged as mm -hmm. you are. You could actually share things for them. That's another way of spreading love. You know, it's it. also you mention your family because when we talk about stardom, fame and all, immediately... Mm -hmm. You think of the person's family, yeah. how it's been on them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes even your your brothers, your siblings, for example, yeah. can benefit. It can be an offshoot. Mm -hmm. Your success could also rub off on them. Yeah, that, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Mm. So w what has it been like for mm. your family? Have they been like, oh, 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 we can't even go out again. Has it been yeah. really cool with them? I mean, <laughs> I mean, when you look at it from that angle, there's yeah. a whole lot of... Uh, there's a whole of, oh, you can't do this now, or you can't do this anymore because of Legal. the implications that it would have. On Yeah, so it is. I mean, it's a bit of both, oh, really. You just have to find the balance. And I believe that we are working. I mean, I mean I'm still adjusting anyway, so everybody around me is actually just adjusting. Okay. Uh, but, but you realize that when we say Bibi Niger, yeah. we also think of Lekon, especially for this year. What has your relationship been like with... You mean this year or last, last year? year. Is, you are still in the year. We've not done another year, one. Really it's a year. year. What has your relationship been like with other housemates? I mean, or I've, former housemates? I've been... Mm -hmm. I've all, I, like, I don't have any issues with anybody, really. So that's just it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm issues like, no, we're not asking for issues. But, you know, progressing outside the house now, life has happened. Everybody's on their grind. Everybody's on their hustle. Trying to make but, the most exactly, of what the fame has given. But so how has it been, like, keeping, maintaining friendships, maintaining communication? Oh, it's been, it's, yeah. it's been the same way it's been, it's been for my friends. When, I'm, when I say my friends, I think there's this thing people say, yeah, my friends before the house, my friends after, after the, the house. house. My friends are my friends. So my friends... That's still your friends. Housemates included. It's really been hard trying to keep in touch with, uh, trying to actually not keep in touch, trying to actually have physical contact, oh, physical uh, hangouts. hangouts. Yeah. Yeah. Because 
you're doing something, they're also doing something yeah. again. And everybody is just trying to Get, make sure that um, everything shadows are is. Clashing yeah. yeah. It's so it's really hard to have the physical hangouts. But. So since you're not in a relationship, I'm just going to give a shout out to all the sisters out there. You're going to slide into Lakon's DM. He's single. I'm yeah, very if you, sure. If you've got bits. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm very sure it's all about the beats. music now. You just said it. <laughs> if you got beats, slide in my DM. So, if, so let's do, send me send the timeline, a timeline for you to get into your next No, no, that's, that's the, a timeline for the music, though. Music, new music is dropping soon. And then I am like, how like soon is it dropping? Soon. <laughs> Soon. So okay. you haven't fixed but it. But tomorrow, too. I am Lake on starts airing on Showmax. That's okay. Nice. Uh, That's nice. You guys are still going to experience the music there. there? You guys okay. are going to see uh, how I've been dealing with this new life. Mm. Mm. Okay. I feel like it's. I'm. I'm really excited about it because. First things first is, mm -hmm. while I was in the house, I was growing, and you guys watched me grow. Yeah. Yeah, like, you guys experienced the growth both internally and externally. Me, I just came outside and I met it. Mm. I so, I mean, now it's you guys watching me adjust to the gift that you guys have given to me. Nice. So it's, it's, it's something you don't, you don't experience in life a lot, where, yeah. you, where you get to be a part of somebody's growth and then you see how this person is trying to make sure that the growth, the growth is working and he doesn't misuse it in yeah. a bad way. Misuse. So well, that's, that's something you don't get What's to Talking well. about growth, <laughs> you're going to grow to the kitchen. Why we not go grow, grow, grow to, to the kitchen. Why because why we, grow grow we have I breakfast don't have to cook. No, so no, before, before no like breakfast. that. food is ready. Oh, the food breakfast. is ready. Yeah, yeah, let's you go. want to quickly watch one of your music videos for the benefits of the icons. Okay, okay. Eh? Yes, yeah. We will have you grow to breakfast. All right. Are we done with that part? Kitchen. <laughs> Super excited. I know you can't wait. You want to go back to that couch, but hey, this is our space. I, I don't understand why he <laughs> keeps looking <laughs> back at the couch. But anyways, welcome to the kitchen, Lake. Hi, hello. How are you? Um, how are you doing? And of course, um, Beyonce, welcome to the kitchen as well. <laughs> Anyway, let's quickly get to it. This is Chef Blossom, and to this morning she's made potato stir fry for you both. Ah, we are not going to ask for your opinion about this meal, you can say, because uh, Why? because it's redundant. Yeah. So no. enjoy. I'm sure you will. let us know what you think. I'm sure she wants my I know she does, but I'm sure that could happen behind camera. <laughs> Anyways, let on please quickly, right, you know. Let me see. No, you, this is an iconic meal. We cooked it for you. Okay. Please enjoy. Hmm. Ah, Miyasa seems to be enjoying this. Let us know. Okay. No, please. But you say you don't want my opinion. No, no, no I want your what's your opinion now? So let us know quickly what you think. I like what? the finesse. Oh, okay. The finesse that you <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> <laughs> now let me. It's not complete. Right. So, the food is ahead. nice. The okay. food is very nice. Mm. So I'm going to just add a little bit of ajasa to the mm -hmm. praise. Okay. okay. I like the. I love the intelligence. Wow. Of the, <laughs> I love the intelligence of the potato. He, can you see? He did not cut the potatoes. Like chop. Exactly. You. You like you put cob. <laughs> you put cob. Right. See, can you see now? Cob. See, see this potato has right. cob. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So when you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> like it slides right in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Beyonce, yeah, please see. let us know what you think quickly. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> We don't have old, but don't worry. Okay. We can. So the first. Your thoughts later the on. most out. out the. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. the... The best thing, no, not the best thing, the most interesting thing about the meal yeah. is the smell. It smells awesome. Fantastic. Coming from a professional chef. Too. Yes, I said that. I said that too. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for coming on the show. You know, thank you all for 